Thank you for choosing X-Machine XM100 Desktop 5 Axis Machining Center. To ensure a smooth installation and setup, please follow the steps below for unboxing and configuration. Step 1. Remove the protection film. It is recommended to wear protective gloves to avoid scratches from burrs, and prepare a pair of scissors. Cut open the outer wrap to access the wooden crate. Step 2. Remove the wooden crate. There are six metal butterfly latches around the wooden crate. Rotate each latch counterclockwise until it is unlocked. During operation, make sure the latches are completely loosened. Hold the metal handles on both sides of the crate with both hands and lift vertically upwards to separate the crate and the machine. Step 3. Remove the internal protection. Cut off the straps around the machine. Remove the foam. And finally tear off the plastic film on the surface. Step 4. Move the machine to a level workbench. Place the machine on a sturdy level workbench and remove the plastic film. The unboxing is completed. In the groove at the bottom of the machine, you can find for chemical wood blocks and a toolbox. The accessories in the toolbox are as shown in the figure. Open the door to find the handwheel protection cover, user manual, and power cord. Before powering on, the fixing screws at positions 1 and 2 must be removed. The fixing screws at positions 1 and 2 are used to fix the spindle during transportation. If the machine is powered on directly without removing them, it may cause mm -hmm. a machine axis lock failure. Use an Allen wrench to remove the two fixing screws in sequence. After completion, install and reset the handwheel protection cover. After removal, keep the fixing screws. If the machine requires transport again, the spindle must be returned to its original position and secured with them. The XM100 has a total of five feet. A level must be used to level the machine. Before leveling, connect the power cord and turn on the machine. The emergency stop of the machine is turned on by default when leaving the factory. Release the emergency stop button. Click reset and rotate the knob to ZRN mode. Rotate the axis of the machine to 90 degrees. Take out the level and place it longitudinally in the center of the cradle. Observe the position of the bubble. The position where the bubble is located indicates that the foot on that side is too high and it needs to be lowered or the other side needs to be raised. Now the bubble is biased toward the rear. You can lower the feet at positions 2 and 3 or raise the feet at positions 4 and 5. An adjustable wrench and an L-shaped trench need to be prepared. Use the adjustable wrench to loosen the nut above the number 3 foot and insert the L-shaped trench into the hole. Rotate clockwise to lower the foot and counterclockwise to raise the foot. Perform the same operation on the number two foot. Stop when the bubble is stably centered. The machine is horizontal in the front rear direction. Leveling in the left right direction. Place the level in the left right direction and observe that the bubble is biased to the right. Raise the number one foot or lower the number three and number five feet. Stop when the bubble is stably centered. The machine is horizontal in the left-right direction. After adjustment, tighten all nuts with a wrench. The leveling is completed. Once the steps above are complete, you may proceed with your first use. Thanks for watching.